Yo, what are you man saying? Welcome to today's video. Today we are training chest, triceps and shoulders, push workout eight. So this is the first push workout of this week. We'll take you through it. I think this, will, this workout will help a lot of you guys out. Yeah, let's go. Let that pre-workout kick in, wait around 20 minutes but the first exercise of this push workout is going to be the flat bar or bench press. We're going to do 3 sets here, 1 top set of 5 to 9 reps and 2 back up sets aiming for around 12 reps. So yeah, let's go. This is the first compound movement for our chest. I always favour doing the compound movements first because, you know, we're fresh, we're going to be stronger and it will be a lot easier for us to progress so like i said before we're doing three sets here one top set of five to nine reps so again the first set is going to be heavy i'd really advise getting a spotter for your three sets of bench press if you can you know it's just not worth going to complete failure if you're by yourself so yeah three sets here one top set of five to nine reps two back off sets of 12 reps let's go Okay, so um, we've done the flat bench press, now we're going to move on to a seated Smith overhead press. So it's not a standard, like standard overhead press, we're going to do it on a Smith machine. If you guys haven't tried it already, then I really suggest you do. We're going to do three sets here, one top set, or five to nine, and two back up sets, hitting around 12 to 15 reps. Let's go. The Smith OHP overhead press. I love this. Ever since I've implemented this exercise, my shoulders have grown you know my shoulders are a lagging body part so when it comes to training them it's just it's just accuracy there's, there's no ego there's no throwing around 40 kg dumbbells on the shoulder press it's just going to be pure accuracy focusing on the muscle i can do this with this exercise so this is specifically targeting the front delt i like to really exaggerate the eccentric part of the movement so loading the eccentric um for three seconds three seconds on the way down roughly Come down, when you feel your shoulder internally rotating, so rotating forward slightly, that's where you want to stop. You want to stop just above that and then push up with the front delt. I'm holding it quite wide. I'd say hold it around shoulder width. Hold it around shoulder width. Or, yeah, hold it around shoulder width and yeah. Okay. So, i got one more set on the Smith overhead press. That's, that's basically the first. Um, direct shoulder exercise we're going to be doing for this workout. Next, we have the tricep dip. Again, we're going to do three sets, one top set, five to nine. I think I'm using um, a 20 kg plate for my first set of weighted dips. And then we're going to do two back off sets of about 12, 12 reps. With the tricep dip variation, you want to keep your torso upright as much as you can. Keep your elbows tucked back behind you. Come down to around 90 degrees and push up, stretch your tricep on the top. Again, I'm only doing this because my triceps are a lagging body part compared to my chest. So there's no need for me to really do chest focused dips. If your chest is lagging, I need the dip exercise more towards the chest variation. So leaning forward, keeping your elbows slightly flared, if that makes sense. But yeah, right now we're going to do the tricep. Torso up, elbows tucked behind us, flexing at the top. Let's go. Okay, guys, with this, with this um, exercise, it can be with this exercise, it can it can be really easy um, to use your delts and your chest to, to push to push yourself up, especially on those last couple reps. Those last couple reps is very important to stay tight. Be very conscious. Be very conscious, cautious, not too sure, but be very aware of your form, your torso, keeping it upright. And yeah, just staying tight overall in those last couple reps and really trying to use those triceps and keeping those elbows back. Okay, so that's the tricep dip is done. Now we're going to move on to the next exercise, the chest press. Now, this is a hamstring press that King's Gym has. If a gym has any type of um, hammer strength chest press where you can load, um, load it with actual plates, then by all means use it. We're going to move on to that next. This is going to be the second chest exercise of this push workout. Um, with, again, we're going for three sets here. So one top set of about five to nine reps and two backup sets, 
trying to hit that high rep range so 15 so yeah second chest exercise of this push workout let's go another shoulder focused exercise here again we're just we're just accumulating more volume for the front delt i know we do hit our front delt when we do um chest presses when we do chest presses and and stuff like that indirectly but again my shoulders are lagging if your shoulders are lagging then i'd really suggest um doing more more work more, more total volume for your front delt so we're doing another shoulder press here on the machine three sets and yeah really again like i said really eccentrically loading focusing focusing on loading the front delt on the way down and pushing up with it so again the ego throw it throw out the door throw the ego out the door throw the ego out the door use those front delts and let's make them grow pretty much all of the compound all the presses all the compound work done for this push workout now we're going to move on to some some more pump high repetitions and um, blood flow work so um, now we're going to do a dumbbell fly, dumbbell chest fly on an incline, slight incline, super sitting with dumbbell that will raise. I like my first push workout of the week to consist more of barbells and dumbbells and the second push workout focuses a lot more on um, cables and, and stuff like that. So we're going to super set the dumbbell chest fly with a dumbbell lateral raise, literally straight after the other. It's going to be a seated dumbbell that will raise as well. Um, I, I suggest you guys first, before you before you do your first working set of the dumbbell that will raises, I say you do a set a light set of around um, 15 reps with, with a lighter dumbbell, just to promote some more blood flow into the side belt. I don't think it's it's, it's not ideal to jump straight into some um, moderately heavy dumbbell that will raises if, if the side belt isn't warm. But like I said, warm up, do about a set of 15 with some lightweight and then you can start your working sets let's go again guys i used to do a lot of i used to do a lot of dumbbell flies you know it's quite an old school movement there are studies showing now and it, it really does make sense that cables when it comes to cable flies it is it is somewhat superior you know there is tension on the chest throughout the whole range of the movement compared to the dumbbell fly when you reach the top the tension is off the chest you can pretty much hold the dumbbells there for as long as you can there isn't going to be any tension on the chest but i feel the eccentric of this movement i can load in i think i feel like the stretch on the way down when it comes to these dumbbell flies is is insane you know so yeah i've just added the, I've, I've just added them into my rotation i'm gonna see how it goes if, if i'm if i'm not feeling them then i'll probably take them out and just do cable flies for cable flies for all my push rotations but yeah and super setting it with the dumbbell lateral raise now here i feel like my form could could be it could be better it could be it could be a lot better um again do it. If you go heavy, your traps are going to get involved. Even when you go light, your traps are going to get involved. So to limit the amount of trap activation when it comes to this exercise, you want to depress. You want to depress your shoulders. Keep your shoulders depressed as much as you can, and then and then and then engage and then start your lateral raise. Once you do that, you're going to find that you can't lose it. You can't use a lot of weight. So here, I think I'm. I've got about eight or something. Yeah, I think I could have. I could have controlled it a lot better. But even still, you know, the side delt, the lateral, the lateral delt, the side delt is a, is a small muscle. You know, there's no need for you to be loading, loading it with humongous weights, trying to raise. It's just, it's not ideal. That's the first super set done. I can't even hold up my arm. Word. Okay, now we're going to move on to the second super set. We're going to move on to the skull crusher using an easy bar. Now... If, if your general's have an easy bar, then just use a straight bar. I just find it easier on my wrist 
to use the easy bar. We're gonna superset that with the Sheen Laro. If a gym doesn't have that, then I just use, I'd say use a cable. Um, we're gonna superset that. We're only doing three sets, no top sets or anything like that. We're gonna do three sets. The goal is 12 reps, so anything between 10 and 12 reps. Yeah, that's the second superset of this workout. Let's go. Boom, easy bar, skull crusher. What you wanna do, just a quick tip, yeah? Because I see a lot of people do this wrong. Um, they start with, with the bar literally above their heads and then they come down, touch their, touch their skull and then press up, you know? Hence why it's called a skull crusher. But when you have the bar above your head, there is no tension on the tricep. It's just like the dumbbell fly we was talking about earlier. You know, when it's up there, right above you, there's no tension on the working muscle. Compared to if you set up the barbell just behind your head, so it's at a slight incline just above, above your head, you'll find that the tension on your tricep is still there. And then engage movement, go down, lower it to behind your head, and then press up to that star position. The tension on your tricep is still there throughout the whole movement. When you do it like this, again, you can't go as heavy. But it's worth it. Okay guys, we've got to finish up now. Um, the gym's closing. But um, the final exercise of this push workout, again, it's a tricep exercise. We're going to move on to the simple straight bar push down. Why a straight bar? Because you can load the most weight. You can use the most weight when you use a straight bar compared to the rope. But again, I like to switch it up. For my second push day, I use the rope, really focusing on that contraction at the bottom, getting that nice squeeze. But today, we are going to do the straight bar push down, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. And that's it. Let's go. That's the final workout, final workout, final exercise of this workout. Yeah, the whole push workout will be linked in the description so you guys can follow it. If you like the video, like it. Click on the, click on the thumbs up button. Subscribe, I'm uploading more content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.